Welcome to Upsides. We're talking about the AFC South today, division preview time. I'm Matt Ufford, joined by my pals Alex Rubenstein and Will, the sound guy. Uh, the sound guy, just his last name. Let's kick things off football term with last year's division champs, the Houston Texans. J.J. Watt, defensive player of the year, uh, three out of four years. Mm -hmm. Did it last year with like six torn muscles in his abdomen, seven, and the twenty-seven. Groin. If, if he'd taken off his jersey, they just would have been intestines everywhere. I tell you, Memorial Hermann down in Houston, they do fine, fine work. Wait, the organs go inside the body? <laughs> Inflammable means flammable. <laughs> Big notable change for the Texans. They've got a new quarterback signed in free agency. That's right. I'm talking about Cock Rosweiler. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Bongweiler. <coughs> Do you have tuberculosis? What's I'm going on? I'm struggling over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm talking about Brock Hussein Osweiler. Secret Muslim Brock <laughs> Hussein Osweiler. Hey, the Super Bowl is going to be in Houston this year. We need an opportunity to really showcase a, a city's Horrific traffic patterns. Yeah. Las Vegas puts the over-under for win total for the Texans at eight and a half. I'm gonna take the over. I think they got an upgraded quarterback, even though Brock Osweiler is not good. He's mediocre at best. That is still way better than the revolving door that the uh, that ushered in the Texans quarterbacks last season. Uh, I don't think J.J. Watt, even though he had off-season surgery, is gonna miss that much time. And Back even, surgery though, that's... that's I crazy. mean, people bounce, it's, it's J.J. Watt, he's yeah. not human anyway. God gave us two backs for a reason. And Jadevian Clowney, I think we finally see him play like Jadevian Clowney this year. Up next, the Indianapolis Colts, who somehow went 8-8 eight and eight despite losing Andrew Luck for most of the year with a lacerated kidney. Kidneys are not meant to be lacerated. They should be too busy passing stones. Despite a toxic relationship between Grigson and coach Chuck Pagano, uh, it was thought that at least one of those guys, or both, would be out, and uh, uh, everybody's back. Apparently they want to do this together. Um, and that is the power of prescription medicine. Hey, uh, who plays defense on this team? I know Vontae Davis, and that's literally it. And now Cromarty. Oh, um, right. So, yeah, this is a team that uh, has Andrew Luck, T.Y.A. Hilton. Did I Ty Y. Hilton. And that's uh, it, folks. You were gifted Andrew Luck on a platter and you've built not a very good team around him. That's really frustrating for me. Like Even as someone who wouldn't be cheering for the Colts anyway, I just hate a mismanaged football team, and this Colts team is. The over-under is somehow nine and a half, and while I think that Andrew Luck uh, can carry a team, this team, to 10 wins, I don't, I don't think it's very likely. In Luck's first couple years, they had 11 wins per year, right? His first three, they That won. was when the AFC South was complete dog caca. Now it's, it's, it's a smaller piece. It's less caca. It's sure. hypothetically baggable. Yeah, yeah, a large bag. You can take the AFC South for a walk now. Yes. And not be concerned. <laughs> yeah, I attach a bottle to my dog's ass. She <laughs> shits directly into it. None of that's usable. And that's the AFC South. Under on the nine and a half. Jacksonville Jaguars, Duvall. Duval, I'd like to announce right now before the season begins, I'm on the Jag wagon. I'm on the Jag wagon for the first time since like the early 2000s. Is that their mascot? Duval? Duval. No, it's in Duval County. Robert oh. Duval. Blake Bortles led the league in interceptions last year. That's bad. What, 17, 18? Uh, 18. That's more than there were games. Uh, but he also threw 35 touchdown passes. Uh, something like that. Uh, that's because he has Allen Robinson to throw to. That guy is awesome. I think it's cool to see two dudes having success who are both named Allen. Also, Allen's Hearns and Robinson is a uh, very good law firm in Jacksonville. Divorce and gator injury. Denard Robinson fell asleep at the wheel and drove into a, a lake, or not a lake, but some sort of water. Some reservoir. Of, a good yeah. swamp. It was not alcohol related. He just fell asleep at the wheel. If you go off the road anywhere in Florida, it's like a better odds than than you might expect of landing in water. It's like a shitty version of, of Atlantis. I'm personally tempering my expectations for Blake Bortles a little bit. The defense is going to take a huge step forward. The Jaguars are hungry. Blake Bortles is a piece of Wow. Did you go to high school with him too? No, I, I went drinking with him one night and he gave me his number and said, hey, yeah, let's hang after this. Never picked up. Oh, man. The over-under for win total on the Jaguars is seven and a half. That's a, that's a big number for a team that was 5-11 and 11 and has been historically bad. I think they're three wins better this year. I think that they are going to be a 500 team. Put them at 8-8. Eight and eight. Playoffs might be a bridge too far, but, uh, but 500, 
You got it. What do you think? I know I'm in the minority, but I, I'm comfortably taking the under on that, actually. And finally, the Tennessee Titans. Year two of Marcus Mariota's era, and year one of Mike Malarkey's exotic smash mouth. He calls it that because the last time Mike Malarkey had a successful NFL offense, uh, Smash Mouth All-Star was a hit. Ooh, zing! Take that, Malarkey! He was not even good enough to coach the Jaguars. He might as well be walking on the sun. There was a preseason game where the fans got to vote on what plays the Titans ran. Uh, the fans called two plays. Now, this isn't one fan selecting a play. This is fans as a collective voting. The hive mind voted for plays. Two plays for 46 yards. Mike Malarkey took the reins, and uh, the next three plays went for a total of four yards. You know he was on the sideline of just like, oh, that was pretty good, fans. Let me show you how it's really <laughs> done. He calls a lot of designed sacks, which is <laughs> very bold. I know a Titans fan that actually misses Jeff Fisher. Oh. Yeah, no joke. You know people? <laughs> Three. How good could Steve McNair have been if he'd had a better coach than Jeff Fisher? Oh, he would have been he would have been in the Hall of Fame. Or a better mistress. Oh god. Over under for the Titans win total in 2016 is pegged at five and a half. And sure, I'll, I'll say that's a six win team. Yeah. Culture, you know, under. We, we, I just noticed that we neglected to mention the Titans' defense uh, during this preview. So did they. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, you swayed me. I'm, I'll, I'll switch to the under. This is five. It's, 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 it's Marcus Mario, and I think he's going to look better this year. Five and a tie. Four. Five and a tie. Five and a half, right there. Right on. So there you have it, the AFC South preview. Um, some fun things to look for this season. Uh, why am I even talking about it? They watched the video. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching Upsides. Hey, uh, during the NFL season, we're on every Wednesday previewing the best games of the week. Check us out. Subscribe to SB Nation on YouTube.